Islam promotes idolatry. And this Irony is important because this is an issue where Muslims really think Irony. they have all other religions, right? They got all other religions in check here. Appreciate you guys that. are all the idolaters except us. Now, <laughs> as I've pointed out in, in other contexts, false prophets don't come to you and say, hey, let's commit a bunch of idolatry. They come to you and say, hey, let's bow down and show special reverence, reverence to this thing over here. Yeah. But when we do it, it's not idolatry. Exactly. It's only when other people do this sort of thing that it's idolatry. What, what sort of things am I referring to yeah, here, Sam? Uh, because time is fleeting. Um, we can't go in depth on it. But again, two things. Bowing towards the Kaaba in Mecca and kissing the black stone, which Muhammad made a necessary act of worship when Muslims perform what is known as the greater or lesser Hajj. You know, uh, greater or lesser pil pilgrimage, Hajj or Umrah. Let me read the reference because, again, time is fleeting. Sahil Bukhari, Volume 2. Sahil Bukhari, Volume 2, Book 26, Number 667. Now, again, this comes from the most authentic collection of narrations attributed to Muhammad. Bukhari, Number 667. Narrated uh, Abbas bin Rabiya. Umar came, came near the black stone and kissed it. He kissed the black stone. And said, no doubt, now notice his response. He's talking to an inanimate object. Notice what he says to it. No doubt, I know that you are a stone and can neither benefit anyone nor harm anyone. Had I not seen Allah's apostle kissing you, I would not have kissed you. Do you see the reason why he kissed it? Yeah. The only reason why he kissed it is because he saw Muhammad do it and he couldn't understand the logic behind it. Yeah, he, it he, he understood there's something not right here, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's an inanimate object. It can't benefit me. Now, when he says it can't harm me, that's not true. Because idolatry is very harmful, it can condemn you to hell. But be that as it may, he didn't see any sense in kissing it, but he did it out of allegiance to Muhammad. So notice, Muhammad is the one who set the precedence for others to kiss this object. Now, according to the very scriptures that the Quran confirms to be from God, this is condemned as idolatry. Again, let me just look at <clears throat> two references. Leviticus 26, verse 1. Leviticus 26, verse 1 says, do not make idols or set up an image or a sacred stone for yourselves. Did you catch it? A sacred stone for yourself. And do not place a carved stone in your land to bow down before it. I am the Lord, your God. What does God say should be done to these stones? Remember, the black stone was a relic from the paganism that predated Muhammad's time. What should have Muhammad done if he was a true prophet? Numbers 33, 50 to 53. Numbers 33, 50 to 53. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Tell the Israelites, when you cross the Jordan to the land of Canaan, you must drive out all the inhabitants of the land before you, destroy all their sacred stones, and cast, image, cast images and demolish all their high places. So if Muhammad was a true prophet, David, following the God that inspired Moses, what should he have done to that black stone? Smashed it. He did. Smashed it he venerated bits. it. So there, and there you go. So, and, and this is especially important because Muhammad, again, is in line, claims to be in line with the Jewish and Christian scriptures. Exactly. And he's supposedly right. the prophet like Moses, right? Mm -hmm. so. and, and for someone who claims to be doing away with idolatry, he embraced quite a bit of it. And now his oh, yeah. followers, his followers who go from all over the world come to kiss the black stone. And face the Kaaba in which... No Muslim will say that Allah's presence fills it in a unique way like mm -hmm. the temple in Jerusalem. So, so they're bowing down to an to a empty, let's exactly. face it, pagan temple. There's exactly. no record anywhere of this ever prior to the time of Muhammad being anything but a pagan temple. Exactly. That's it. There's no denying that. <clears throat> but notice, 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 notice what we said. Uh, f uh, false prophets don't come to you saying, hey, let's go commit a bunch of idolatry. Ah, let's bow to that thing over, over there. But it's not idolatry. It's not idolatry when we bow to the same building that the pagans bowed down to and when we kiss the same black stone that the pagans kiss but it's different from us because what right. because what we the muslims will say oh but th this rock came from heaven so what a rock in heaven is created by god just like a rock on earth right, right? why would that make it okay to to show this special reverence for it? it's a rock ladies and gentlemen exactly. 